Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that whenever an object exerts a force on another object, the second object pushes back with a force of the same strength, but in the opposite direction. These forces always come in pairs, acting on different objects. These action-reaction pairs are always equal in size and opposite in direction, and they act on different objects. Let's look at some examples to make it clear. When you kick a soccer ball, your foot pushes the ball forward with a certain force. This is the action. In reaction, the ball pushes back on your foot with an equal force in the opposite direction. You might feel this as a slight jolt in your foot. The ball moves forward because of the force from your foot, but your foot feels the reaction force, which is why kicking a heavy object, like a rock, might hurt more than kicking a light ball. When you jump, you push down on the ground with your legs, the ground pushes back up on you with an equal force, which lifts you into the air. Without the ground pushing back, you wouldn't be able to jump. This is why astronauts in space, where there's no ground to push against, move differently. A rocket pushes hot gases downward out of its engines. The gases push the rocket upward with an equal force. This is how rockets lift off and travel into space, even in a vacuum where there's no air or ground to push against. This law explains why things move the way they do, from walking, pushing against the ground, to driving a car, tires pushing against the road. Newton's third law is all around us, explaining how forces work together to create motion in the world. Stay curious, science fans.